Hello everyone, this is V, Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today's video is my entry to Tony, who is Craft Purge here on YouTube. This is my entry to her Sender's Choice Christmas Swap 2022. And this is my third actual swap like this where you send multiples. So Sender's Choice is you choose five out of her list and we will go through all of the five that I chose to send in this loaded envelope. I decided to go with a loaded envelope. The envelope is an SVG file by Paige Evans. I will have it linked below. Grab that SVG file from the Silhouette Design Store. Um, Paige does have her own website, which will, I will have it linked below. So in case you are a Cricut user, you're able to purchase it as well. This is the front of my loaded envelope. I wanted it to have multiple layers and different textures in there. Moving on to the back, I created my layering piece here and put together all of my scraps to create that. So this is what it looks like. I have some puffy stickers on the corner. I wanted that snowman to be on the left hand side as well. Moving on to the top of this envelope, as you can see the bird's eye view, all of the yumminess that it has stuffed in it. I just love how it looks. Getting into the collection that I used, I used the Sugar Cookie by Frank Garcia and Prima Marketing. And I just went in with a lots of pastels and a bit of burgundy. I also want to get into sharing the other two that I will be featuring on the video. So really quick, give you a little peek of that because they're slightly different but similar at the same time. Okay, let's get on into what is inside. I am such a rookie when it comes to swaps like this, sending multiples. Okay, so you can see there is a tag in the front of this envelope. I have it secured with a clothespin. So just that one white little clothespin is holding it together. That clothespin is from Joann's in case you want to pick some of those up. I just love these chunky clothespins. They're my absolute favorite. This is my sequence mix. That is the first choice that I went with. I chose to send my sequence mix in this beautiful tag. If you want to create your own tag like this, um, head on over to Scrap Diva. It's one of her dies. But I just love how this one turned out. It's very simple yet eye-catching. And I just love it. I love the little bell on the side. And, you know, it's interactive. You can pull the string and see what's inside like a card. So I just love it. Here I go trying to go for whatever's in front. I dodge that and go for what's behind it. So what's behind it? I did make a video on this and I will have it linked below. I used Scrap Diva Designs dies to make the wording on this and as well as the bows. So my second choice were two sets of bows and this is what I included. So a little secret I want to let you in on is that there, a chain wasn't supposed to be there. Um, it was just a little happy mistake. I added the eyelet to the left-hand side and I needed it on the right-hand side. So I did both and then added the chain. So it came out to looking like a little purse, a vinyl purse, which I absolutely love. So I did hand create those vinyl bags and I have a video on it linked below. My other two entries do not have the chain, unfortunately, but I love both. So I just left them as is. I included that snowflake pick and this is my second bow. It's made the same. It's just a different size and I added a charm to the left hand side so it could dangle on the left hand side of the loaded envelope. So I love it. I just love how those came out. Here we go. This is why I dodged the first item I had in front of my loaded envelope. It is stuck to the envelope. I happened to glue it on by accident, but luckily it was just a little tiny drop of glue. So my third choice are store-bought items. You have to pick two store-bought items that roughly are $3.00. So this is my store-bought item. I picked it up from Michaels. They're the Santa stickers. They come in two different color tones, which I love. These stickers are just amazing, amazing. My extras that I included are the back toppers. 
Um, I pinned them on with some clothespins and added a sticker. Those puffy stickers are also Frank Garcia. So I just added that and I just love how it looks. Added a poinsettia from Hobby Lobby and then just created my back topper. So here is the second item. I um, made this pom-pom and I glued it onto a clothespin. And this is my extra bag topper that I'm also including as a gift. And I just love Santa. I fussy cut those Santa heads from the paper collection and I stitched the border of it. Added a pom-pom to his hat. My second store-bought item are these reefs for Michaels. I was only able to pick up two of these colors and then one in green. So the third package will get green, unfortunately. It still matches though. So moving on to my fourth choice are a pair of flowers. And I chose to go with multiple flowers because these were so small. Um, these flowers are made with Scrap Diva Designs dye. I will have it linked below. So my extra here is another back topper and it's very simple and secured down with a clothespin. I do have a video on how I created these Hobby Lobby dupes. So I will have it linked below as well. So that is my back topper. I just love the trim, the pom-pom trim um, that is from Hobby Lobby as well. So the fifth choice, you guys, is the last one and I chose to go with a container of 15 cute knickknacks and you could include beads charms etc i chose to go with a lot of items here and i included it in this plastic container from amazon I had trouble with this container. I did not know how to incorporate it with this loaded envelope. I ended up going with the rosette wand and securing container to the back of the rosette uh, as well as using a straw. These are my knickknacks, etc., that I included. So I did include charms. I included flatbacks. I included brads as well as a deer and some puffies and a lot of things that I included here. Um, all three are different, so you will see on different videos, different things. So I try to mix it up and include the best that I had. I also see a bell as well as a glittered Christmas light. I just love the peppermint too. That one's from Amazon. And I also included a little uh, heart with glitter on it. It's a resin piece. So I'm not sure where that came from. Um, the flowers there. I included the roses because of Frank Garcia's collection. It's with roses and I just thought it went well. The Tim Holtz deer is a uh, oldie but goodie and I just had to include it. Closing up this little container and moving on to the envelope. So again, this is a Paige Evans envelope. This is how I decorated it. I have some glittered snowflake trim that I picked up from Joann's last year and I just snipped some of those off and, and sewed them onto the back inside of the envelope. So I did use a metallic thread for stitching. Putting everything back together as it was in the beginning and gonna show you how I package it. Very simple. Again, I'm still a rookie. Only three of these swaps I've entered. So I need to get used to them. And that way I can do a, a more elaborate style of packaging. So I just went with the regular cellophane bag and some ribbon. So here I am trying to stuff it in. I did forget to keep my package to a minimal and I had a bag already set aside for this when I first started my projects however as time went on I needed a bigger one so I didn't have that <laughs> I didn't have a bigger bag for this so I did have to go into my stash and see what I had and luckily I had three bags that were useful so you guys this is about concludes the video I'm just wrapping all of this up with some ribbon and trim 
And I went with burgundy since I didn't use a lot of it, but it still goes with the collection. And it's Christmas. I love like red and burgundies for Christmas wrapping. I just think it brings out the Christmas in it. I wish I would have included a large snowflake because I did have an ornament snowflake, which I could have included on the packaging. I went with these tags that I have a video on. Um, it, again, it's a Scrap Diva Designs die. Moving on to what I sent Tony. So I did send her a Christmas present. This is an album that I already had made with her in mind. And um, I hope she loves it. Merry Christmas, Tony. Uh, I hope you love this album. And you guys go check her out because she has an amazing channel. All right, you guys, I will see you in the next video.